Hi guys, in this quick little video, we're gonna go through how to find the IXL help videos that are published for every single IXL assignment. All right, so right here, we are on the course page and I am viewing in student view. What we will do is we will select content. Sometimes it takes a minute to load. And then you will open up whatever unit you're on. So let's go ahead and just go to uh, last week's unit, unit on volume, okay? Because some of you may still be finishing that up since we just finished it last week. And the second tab of every single unit is always for IXL assignments. When you select that, you will, sometimes you have to open the assignment to see the screen, just kind of depends on what your settings are, but whether you see it right away like me or whether you have to open it up to see it, this is what you'll have. Uh, the very top lets you know what OMHS lessons this IXL assignment matches with. Then we have a direct link to the IXL assignment as well as that shortcut code. A copy of the rubric, because remember our goal is to always get a smart score of a 60 or higher. So anything above that blue line. And then right below that is the YouTube video. So it's embedded. And I also give you a direct link if you'd rather open it up in a new tab. All right. In every single one of these videos, it is me on IXL. And I go through about three or four examples. So that way you can get a variety. It is something that um, if you're working on current assignments, I do want you to try the IXL assignment first. Then if you get stuck, go back and watch the video. But let's say you are working on catch up, you're making up things and you'll be spending a decent amount of time of spring break getting caught up so you can get out from that um, assignment hole that you've dug yourself in. Then it may be helpful to watch the video first because if it's older and it's been a while since you've seen it, you could watch the video first to get your brain refreshed, give you a nice little review and then do the IXL assignment. And that is done for every single assignment. And if there ever is one that is missing, just send me an email. So that way I can um, just let you know if it's coming soon or if there was a glitch, I can just send you the link. All right. Now, the second way that you can access this is actually from the gradebook tab. So if we scroll all the way up to the top and go back home, um, remember when you're on your home page, um, now this screen looks a little bit different, but like right here, you usually have that overdue list. The overdue list is not accurate. Let me repeat that. The overdue list is not accurate. So you don't wanna rely on that. What you want to rely on is the grade and the grade tab. So right up here, see how there's a green arrow pointing to it? Click on the grades tab. And my screen will look a little different from yours because obviously there's no grades in here. But in this feedback section, after you see your grade, there will be a blue link and that will take you directly to the assignment. That'll take you directly to the page that we just viewed in content. So if you're scrolling and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm missing IXL 02 classify triangles. Well, look in the feedback section, click on the assignment, and it'll take you right to that page where you can see all the information about the IXL assignment as well as my help video. Okay. All right. As always, guys, if you have any questions, please give me a call or send me an email. And also I have my help sessions. Those are a great time to come and work on IXL assignments and ask questions in person. So thank you very much. Work hard, guys.